I've been very lucky, and I've made a lot of money. There's no reason to not give back. We grew up in a middle-class background. We all worked. My brother worked. My sister worked. Work was a, a very important value in my family. Family comes first. Family is most important that you go out of your way to be at family simchas and you be there for good times and bad times. And another value that was very important to my father and my mother still is to give back to the community. The Ruderman Family Foundation is, first of all, a family business. It's a place that combines values and logic and strategy and passion and devotion to two main issues, to inclusion of people with disabilities across the spectrum, all kinds of disabilities in all aspects of society, and to strengthen the relationship between the Jewish community in the United States to the State of Israel. Our work started in the Jewish community in Boston, but it's expanded to Israel and really globally now. We put a priority on advocacy, and not just supporting advocacy through giving money to NGOs, but actually leading the advocacy efforts on our own. We look at the rights of people with disabilities in all aspects of life. Inclusion is a state of mind. Inclusion is not a project. It's not just an initiative. As I got to know more elected officials in Israel, I realized that they didn't know a lot about the American Jewish community. We started with missions, bringing missions of Knesset members, journalists. Uh, we established a caucus in the Knesset on the American Jewish community. But most recently, we established the only academic program at any Israeli university on the American Jewish community, which is the Rudiment Program in American Jewish Studies at Haifa University. And our hope is that these students, now we're in our third class, will become future members of Knesset, judges, business leaders, members of the government, uh, members of the Foreign Service, and that they'll have a deeper understanding about the American Jewish community and the community's connection to Israel. Our foundation is very unique in my perspective because we do not just support and give money to great causes. We took the initial thought to see that each one of our grants and each support that we give is an investment. And like an investment, you take it seriously. You do your due diligence. You make sure that your money will have the best outcome. You find the best partners to work with. You initiate the ideas. And it makes our work more difficult and more challenging but I think the outcome is really worthwhile because you see the return for your investment. To make it more fair and more inclusive society for people with disabilities. Success for the foundation would mean to me that people naturally understand what it means to include people with disabilities in every aspect of the Jewish community, whether it's synagogue inclusion, vocational work, education, and that we wouldn't have to be explained why it's important that people would just get it. Ideal society is a society that accepts all people despite the differences. Ideal society is a society that each person feels comfortable with who he is and what he would like to do. In an ideal society, each person looks at its potential and his abilities and not his disabilities.